Howdy y'all, Michael here. Today is Sunday, September 3rd, 2023, and it is 12.07 a.m. in the morning. I just got home a few minutes ago uh, from a family function, and uh, I've been working on a video this week. Um, Carol and I did go to Hot Springs, Arkansas. I did a lot of videotaping, uh, about three to four hours of videotaping, or uh, video is it consider tape there's no tape let me know down in the comments anyways I digress I'm very tired uh, Friday night we got in I did a lot of editing I fell asleep got about up about 2 a.m. Saturday morning uh, edited edited to about 5 or 6 went back to sleep slept for a few hours ran a bunch of errands and I did some more editing and then uh, take care of some other stuff. And then we left for a family function. So I'm back home from the family function. Uh, and uh, still need to get the video done. So we did a big chunk of the video today. I don't think you want to see two to three hours of video. All one chunk. So this is what I'm going to do. On uh, Sunday night, 5 p.m. I'm hoping to release it by then. It may be 7 p.m. It may be 7 a.m. Monday morning. But I want to get part one out to you. And it's going to be the first uh, 20, 30 minutes of the video. And uh, we're going to call that good. That will be released uh, for this weekend. Next weekend will be part two. And the weekend after that will be part three of our Hot Springs experience. So when I started this event, I was pretty tired when I woke up early Sunday morning for us to hit the road from uh, the Colony, Texas to Hot Springs, Arkansas. So... Excuse the way I look and the way I was talking. I was tired, but uh, it was a, a start of a great adventure, and I want to share it with you. So, pass it on to Pass Michael. Take it away. Howdy, y'all. Michael here. Today is Sunday, August 27th, 2023. It's about 6.45-ish in the morning. We're getting ready to head out on our trip to Hot Springs, Arkansas. So, come hang out with me. Our first stop is going to be Bucky's. Bird on top of that sign. We got a little anti bird stuff on top of the sign, but it doesn't seem to support him. He's just chilling up there. Maybe it's his first trip to Bucky's. Cool little dog treats. Got a beer, a hamburger, hot dog, tacos, donuts, a little bit of everything. And they're calling these keto kits. I call them protein kits, but these are what we normally have on the road for snacks. Two different types of cheese, a boiled egg, some nuts, some chicken, some uh, tomatoes, and some celery. Actually, this is what we do a lot, the grapes. I don't know if the grapes would be keto or not. Here's your regular Bucky's. And you get the little keychain Bucky's down here. Carol said, can we buy the big one? How much do you think that would be? Each Bucky's has their own little truck inside that they display these dolls in. But this one has an 8-track in it. It's John, John Wayne, America, why I love her. Anything canned and pickled, you got here. You got jalapenos, garlic, habanero garlic, cut of cheese uh, stuffed olives, garlic stuffed olives. Pickled eggs, pickled quail eggs, all sorts of jellies, 
hot sauces okay they got hot sauces a few rubs and other merch that's cool little trays I get one out little kids trays Right onto US 70 East. DCI agent Mark Ludwig took the lead in the investigation. We made it to Hot Springs, Arkansas. Parked in the free parking garage. It is 89 degrees out here. And it feels good. Last few days in North Texas was 110. 89 degrees. It feels very good. One of the famous murals. The Hot Springs area. And here stands the Ohio Club. The Ohio Club was a popular place for baseball players as well as mo the mobsters of the era. In fact, let's take a look at a little Al Capone here. But during Prohibition, the Ohio Club was a speakeasy. So I'm curious how all that worked. How you, what you had to do to get in there. So eats, cigars, beer, and canes. Where does Canes? You buy Canes there? Probably. They were, I guess they were a. I don't understand the Canes part. It seems a little different. Just a couple doors down, it's a Hot Springs Hat Company. And I'll tell you, they have every style of classical hat in there. Not Madame Tussauds, but it's Josephine Tussauds. And I believe she was the niece. Amount of Tussaud. Keep saying Tussaud, Tussaud. Am I pronouncing it correctly? I don't know. But I'm guessing that's supposed to be George W. Bush. And his father, George H. Bush. Love these old faded ads you can see. Obviously you can see the Tom Moore 10 cent cigar. But what's above there? American... Pacific or there's even bigger letters kind of gray going across another ad right there Arlington Hotel and Spa there it says no parking equine only forgot to bring my horse and over there's the Hot Springs National Park and that's about as much filming, filming of the park I'm going to give you because the National Park System doesn't want you filming without permits. And it's $300 to $450 for a permit to apply for it. Then it'll maybe weeks and then you're given a day to film. And here I am just using a handheld camera and I can't film there. So that's the ruling of the courts right now. It's going back and forth. Some YouTubers have been fined up to $1,000, so you can find up to $10,000 permanent ban from the parks and jail time. So I'm not going to even mess with it, but we are going to visit it. Just can't share it with you. Okay, we just arrived at our place. I'll tell you about the National Park I visit today. Look at the angle. Okay, let me see. I'm not exaggerating, I'm trying to get this as level as I can. I got out of the car and the door wanted to slam back into me. However, Carolyn about rolled out of the car. <laughs> Why can't we get a space like that? Guess that worked. We're in our, in our area. Number A. They say don't park uh, any of these other spaces here. I would like to park there. That's nice and level. This is kind of a slope. My gosh. That was fun. First impression here. 
Oh, very nice. Very, very nice. Holy cow, let's get some lights in here. I think I got switches over here. Do we have more light switches? Somewhere. Look at this. Here we go. All right. This is our kitchen. Living area. Here's our view out back. Little table there. Another little table there. Looks like it at one time had a glass top, but no longer. This is nice. This is very nice. Little closet here. Oh, that's a C. Okay. Good to know. So our bathroom, got the commode there. Still looking for switches everywhere. Turn that fan off. So there's the lavatory. And I found the one who my soul loves. And here's more stuff. Always looking for light switches around here. Here we go. Okay. That's the shower. Pretty basic little shower here. We go through here. This is the bedroom. And I guess this is the closets here. Probably big closets. And I'll show you that restroom here in just a moment. Coming from the bedroom there, there's the commode. There's the jacuzzi tub. They got a little candle over there. More candles over here. Big window, little makeup station right there. I think we did good. I think we did excellent. Okay, just noticing here for you coffee snobs, we have the Keurig and we have an espresso machine. How cool is that? This I'm gonna assume is no, that's a hot water heater. It's gonna assume it's a pantry, but no, it's a hot water heater. Very nice. I think we can make do with this. Okay, so we're staying on the Washtenaw River and that's the Domino's right up there. And right here, this sign, I can't believe it. Check it out. Please call blah, blah, blah for dockside uh, pickup and check-in. So you can actually go from your boat and pick up pizza right here at the Domino's Pizza at the top of the hill. And they got a dock all set up for that. It's pretty darn cool. There's the stairs right, right there. To go up to the Domino's from your boat. Here it is top side, just so y'all can see it. Stairs going down from the Domino's to the dock down there. How cool is that Domino's? That's very cool. We are customers here, so we're waiting on our order, but that's a sign. They don't want to do fishing there because it's for customer use only. So I think we're good with that. This location also has a drive through. So you got a drive through, a boat through, carry out, and delivery. All right. So 
got Domino's. We're going to eat our pizza here in a bit. Um, we did go to the national parks. I did take uh, pictures from the outside, but the inside, I didn't take pictures of. Some of the employees are like, I don't see a problem with it. And uh, I wasn't worried about them. I was worried about the people down in Washington or anybody watching the YouTube channel. Uh, I'll link a video down below. Uh, the reason why I'm not gonna film inside the national parks at this time. Uh, Sean and Christy Michaels did an excellent video on that on their Long Long Honeymoon channel. Uh, Karen A got a fine $1,000 for filming just using their handheld cameras. So um, it's very important that you're up to date with, with what's going on. There was one case where they find a guy, the guy fought in court, won, and all that got overturned, but then the appellate court turned it back over again. So something's still working there. It's a First Amendment issue, but we'll get it taken care of. Um, now, going to the place, we went to, what was the, what was the uh, restaurant we went to? It's one of the bathhouses, the first bathhouse there. I can't remember. It with yeah, it starts with an S. I can't remember it, but uh, I'll let you know as soon as I remember it or uh, tomorrow when we go by there, if, if I do any filming tomorrow. Uh, but before that, we went to the front lawn area where they have the national park and they had two pools there and a waterfall. Waterfall was from a hot spring. You put your hand in there and it was warm. You put your hand in the water above that. It was really warm. So it is a hot spring. And uh, we actually drank the water and we put it in our water bottles uh, and brought it home and drank it. It tastes perfectly clean and it's a great tasting water straight from the ground. They didn't have to do any processing. So if we're going to go back there, we may go do the spa thing tomorrow. Uh, well, we'll see. Depends on how much we're back up there. you got a spa with five pools, $25. You can use it all day long. And the pools uh, are like 104, 102, 98, um, um, 95, maybe four pools. I was thinking there's five, maybe four pools. But they're all different temperatures and you can just soak in there and as long as you want so but for now i'm hungry my wife's hungry we're going to eat some pizza so we'll catch you in the morning so good morning it's day two here and we just parked in the free parking garage that's the big tip find the free parking garage because all the other parking i've heard is around 20 dollars a day so i believe the national parks provides this so Definitely take advantage of that. I saw this piece of art yesterday. I was like, ah, I don't think that thing turns. It does turn. It's got some weighted items and uh, I bet it looks pretty cool whenever the wind's blowing. I bet that goes back and forth. But you can see it slightly turning right now. Got a nice, gentle, gentle breeze. Not enough to really do anything. So we're back here at Bathhouse Row and I'm across the street. So I'm technically not in the national park. I'm in a non-national park area but that building right there is where they have the gift shop talked to a nice young lady yesterday i got my passport and i got my first stamp in it but the, you can take these to all the parks and get stamps and just collect which parks you've been to friend uh, bob told me you got to get this and i told him i already did so definitely something worth getting they had a bigger passport. It's more of a book, a binder. And they highly suggested uh, getting that, but I like this because I can put it in my cargo pants pocket. I got my first stamp, commemorating my first time in the national park. So right now we're heading out to go take the tour. They got an inside tour one hour and maybe a couple hours later, an hour or so they have an outside tour. We don't know which tour we're going to get first, but um, but we're going to take both of the tours today. A little bit later on, we're going to go to the Quahog Spa. And the Quahog Spa, did I say that right? You're laughing. It is something. Quahog, Quahog, no, Quahog. Quahog is from Family Guy. Quahog Bass is where we're going. And there's four uh, pools there. One's at 102 degrees, one's at a, at a, no, I'm sorry, one's at 104 degrees, one's at 102 degrees, one's at 98 degrees, and one's at 95 degrees. And so we're gonna go there, it's $25.
and you can stay there all day long and boil yourself if you want. But it is a mineral bath and this is supposedly very therapeutic. Um, so we're doing that today. If not, we'll, we'll, we'll definitely do it this week. We're just gonna relax, have a good time here. But first, the tours. By the way, we forgot the name last night of the where we ate and had the uh, brews. It's called the Superior Bath House. And they, they actually use the water from the hot springs here. Little tidbit here, nobody's allowed to sell the hot the hot springs water, but they actually went and got Congress involved, according to the person I talked to yesterday. They got Congress involved to allow them to brew their beer with, uh, and seltzers, with the hot spring water. So it's the only place in the world that gets to use this hot spring water for commercial use. First impressions of the museum, our big impression of the museum. Definitely go through that tree. There's, it's an Ophi museum. I do recommend doing that. Um, they do have tours inside the museum. They have tours outside. We took the inside tour. We actually got about five minutes into it. But just missed a little bit of the front room. There's beautiful stained glass and statues in the place. And uh, the tour kind of goes on to uh, Dr. Forsythe's vision when he came here. To, uh, because he had only a few months to live according to the doctors, but he was healed uh, using the mineral waters here. And he built up this whole area. He said, we need to make this resort. Not only did they uh, do it for people who had wealth, they wanted it for the poor as well. So nobody was turned away from being able to utilize the, the springs here. And that's what the National Park, one of their missions here is to maintain that to where they never charge for the water. The water, you can come fill it up. There's never gonna be a fee. Just get the water and you can take it home and use it. There's no commercial water being used here. So we're getting ready to cross. And we're gonna let us cross, awesome. So right now, Carol and I are gonna go get our bathing suits. We're going to Quapaw to suck around some hot mineral water for the next hour or two, so we'll catch you afterwards. Hey, correction, I may have mispronounced his name. I was just correct. It's Ford Dice is the gentleman's name. But if you do pick museum, uh, make sure you go on all three floors, take the inside tour, and then from the third floor, take the elevator down to the basement. It is the original elevator from the building. The front part of it's been cut off and modernized, but the rest of it, it's even got the old uh, handle to go up and down. So it's a pretty cool experience. I do recommend it. Now to get myself drugs. All right, that's day two. We're back at the apartment here, the Airbnb, or we got on booking.com actually. So we went and uh, did the tour, uh, the inside tour of the uh, bathhouse, which is now the visitor center uh, for the National Park. That's all free and it's pretty amazing. Really incredible stuff. There's statues, there's, uh, they got beds in there. They have stuff for the handicapped, stuff for the able body, uh, and a uh, great tour. After that, we went to the Qual Paul, not the Qual Hog. Sorry, Peter Griffin. It's the Qual Paul. Um, spa and we only did the pools so there's four pools there once supposedly 104 once 102 once 98 once 95 well we got into 104 degree pool which was supposed to be the 104 degree pool we stayed in there for quite a while float around got my head under a few times just kind of soaking it up we were there for quite a while then we went to the 102 thinking it was being going to be cooler no it was a lot warmer I would dare to say it's probably 105 plus. I mean, it was a lot warmer. I've been in hot tubs that are 104. That's my preferred temperature for a hot tub. So we did that and then we went to the 98 degree and it was cooler. You can tell it was cooler. And then you go to 95 and it felt kind of chilly in the beginning, but not really. And I swear I could be in that pool all day long. Some people say it's kind of bathtub watery, but I think it was pretty good. So we did that 
and uh, for I want to say an hour and a half, almost two hours. And then we uh, raced to get the outside to her. We missed the first couple minutes of it, but we caught the majority of it, and uh, got to got to see a great presentation by the uh, ranger there. Wish I could film all this. I cannot. They right now. Uh, I'll put a link at the end of the video. Uh, but after that, we went and uh, we were going to grab some stuff. We filled up one water bottle, but before we did that, we went to a little taco place. I can't even remember the name of it. It had a Dia de la Morte theme to it in the front. Great tacos. And if I can remember it, I'll, I'll um, try to mention it a little bit later in the, in the video. I probably won't. I'll probably forget it. And then we got my little um, Yeti gallon container here filled up with some hot water. And I don't know if we'll use it here or if we're going to use it and then bring bring home a fresh batch. I don't know. But we'll see what we do with that. The water is fine to drink. Straight out of the ground. Cool thing about the water is it comes off the mountain runoff and it goes down into the ground uh, 8,000 feet. And they say it takes 4,000 years for it to get down there. And then there is a fault line. And that fault line shoots the water back up after it's been sitting there in the geothermal area. When it shoots back up, it goes a lot faster. It goes, and it only takes 100 years to go back up, that 8,000 feet. And it flows. It flows quite a bit. So, um, and in fact, there's fountains all over the place that are just fountains being off the pressure of that. And a lot of algae on some of those fountains, you'll see. But we're going to call it a night. Uh, we may do some more stuff around here. I don't know. We may just take a nap. We've had a pretty full day. So um, now we're planning on going to a, a botanical garden that's not part of the national park system. So I'll share that with you. And also a science museum sometime this week. So. Until then, y'all have a good night.